Hello, welcome to our channel. I'm Sally Jack's TV mom, and I've had quite a lot of requests of to do with um, my son, five year old Frankie Jack, about where I get his school uniform from because obviously he starts by the time this video comes out he'll have just started back at school um so we've been out shopping i bought um quite a few <laughs> as you you get up to them breaking up for school breaking up from school because they have magnificent deals like 20 percent or 25 percent off um and then we've just gone out i bought him school shoes and then he's grown out of them before he's gone to school um so i've had to go back today so i'm going to start with first of all he's <laughs> we get from Marks and Spencers you get seven pairs because he has to wear grey and black so he has dark grey light grey and black um, and he gets seven pairs for seven pounds they come from Marks and Spencers because I think they wash really well although I have had them from um, supermarkets and things like that I don't like the ribbed ones I just like the plain ones Mommy, you shorts get, you get eleven you get well no you get no you don't you get seven pairs his shorts um that's been a bit of a nightmare this year so actually what i'm going to do because he didn't wear his shorts that much last year he's actually going to wear his shorts from last year because if you actually counted the days they were actually in shorts it, it wasn't much so um i'm going to put him his shorts from last year shorts i got i like the flat fronted i don't like the cargo i like them to look very very smart and i got those from tesco's um i think it's um florence and freddy's and or fred and florence whichever way F and F. Um, is it F and F under the school uniform? It might not be. Um, but you can also get the flat fronted from Marks and Spencers. But I've been down today to try and get his size. Uh, they don't have them and they're out of stock online as well. And of course, Tesco's you can't order online anymore. No. So then his trousers, um, no. although these are a little bit too big, no. even though he's five, he's only a no. diddy dot. So these are three no. to four years. I'm sure them like that. Okay. <laughs> this is not on because <laughs> so these are i always like a skinny leg because he's so small i don't want him in these big great big wafty Did trousers um in fact i don't like seeing them on children because they just look too wide but obviously that's my opinion um everybody will have their different opinions so i don't like the regular fit because i just think they look too wide so he has a skinnier leg now um they have i think that's a skinny leg in marks and spencers so two yeah, pairs come up at his 11 pounds so i can went to um tesco's because yeah. tesco can you hold it backwards oh yeah so Tesco's have the black and the grey, um, and they do actually do a real skinny fit in the black. For some reason, I don't know, they don't do it in grey, but they only do it in black, so that's a bit annoying. And they didn't have any. In my local Tesco's, all the Peterborough, they had nothing in his size. Uh, next is his polo shirt. Again, net, uh, net, um not next, uh, Tesco's I find the best. So I've had Tesco's, Marks and Spencer's, I've had Sainsbury's, and, uh, Marks and Spencer's are the only place I've been able to get his shirts uh, this year because everybody else has sold out or didn't have them online. Now, I will admit, I think Marks and Spencer's are the poorest quality for washing. That's my opinion. But I, again, I always go for the slim fit and I've gone for the three to four years. Even though he's five years old, that is plenty big enough. I don't want them to be oversized. So I've got Marks and Spencer's. So as soon as sort of school starts and hopefully they may replenish, I'll be able to get more for him. As for his jumpers, you can get the round neck um, sweaters, which he is allowed to wear at school. Um, and when it gets to really winter and it's really, really cold, I'll put him in a round neck and it has that fleece, fleece lined. But again, my opinion, and you might be completely different, but I don't think they look as smart as the thin knit with the V-neck. I think that looks much smarter. And I always like his top bottom of his polo shirt done up. So I always put him in the V-neck um, thin and I've got um, two pack for six pounds for the jumpers 100% cotton um, and these are from Tesco's and I just know is it oh no these are Sainsbury's TU um, I know that those will wash really well um, and he wears red I got the emblems done last year you don't have to to the school he's going to and I think it's something like I don't know eight pounds more for the emblem 
Does it matter? No. Um, it did last year because it was first year, but we're not bothered this year. I think I may just get one done just in case he's got something like Carol Services or something like that to go to. So those were for Sainsbury's, so I bought a few of those. Um, yeah. So his school shoes are from Clark's and I like leather shoes for his feet. Um, I will say that I hunt high and low for his school shoes because I find a lot of them are, I, this is me again, totally personally, um, I find them so ugly. I can't stand them when they look trainerified or when they look big and bulky. So this year I've got Clark's. They're called the Sky. Uh, we've had them fitted for him as well and they look like this. So they look very, very smart. The Velcro, but they're, they're, they're a smart uh, shoe. Um, hasn't been done up properly. So they look a lot smarter. And then of course they get polished every day. Um, so he's had his foot. Now these, he's, he's an F fit in his Frankie Jack. However, because these are um, a little bit of a slimmer fit, we've had to go a little bit wider. And you can see, I put his name in his shoes, but I'm gonna tell you all about that in just a moment of where I get that from. But that goes in his shoes and it also goes in his plimp soles as well. Um, his school bag, we've got it on order. Um, it will be here before he starts school. And that is a specific, it's like a flat bag um, and it just manages to fit everything in. As yet, we've not got him that particular rucksack or bag that he wants because he's not taking loads of stuff to school yet. Um, it's like his library books and things like that. So that'll be fine for that. Um, then I've got him a really lovely raincoat to start school in. I've got other coats uh, because I do collect them um, sort of year after year. I don't just go and buy it for now. I'll see what's in the sale and then I'll purchase. So I've already got his winter coats for this year and I got them last year. So this year I've got him to start school. If you can see, it's got pencils on, which I really love. And this is actually uh, Mitch and Son. Did you get any pencil punch? No, I got, Why? I got, I got though, I got the sweater for Why you. Why did you not get any pencil Because there weren't, pants. there weren't any pencil pants. But, wow. but you won't wear them for school. You won't wear those for no, school. No, because you can't I'm, wear them. I mean, so I can wear them another day because I'm on a weekend. Well, we didn't, they didn't have them. They only had the pencil jump. They only had the pencil jumper. So I've got this, and this was, if you can see, fifty-five pounds. You're instantly going to go. Oh, I can't believe you spent that on a school. Um, uh, coat. Well, I haven't. <laughs> I actually got that that was seventy percent off, so it worked out to be just roughly what's that? Five uh, fifty-five. So five fifty. Five fifty is eleven. Uh, so I paid sixteen pound fifty for that. Sixteen pound fifty for a raincoat. I suppose it's still a little bit more expensive. However, that does go with another outfit that I bought. So as well as wearing it for school, he can wear it with his other outfit. Um, that was in a sale near me. Uh, now, the most important part is obviously naming all the stuff so nobody else goes home with it, so they know it's in there. The teachers are picking it up at the end of the day because everybody's wearing the same. So it's a friend of mine, actually, a friend of mine that I work with in television. Um, she's called Joanne. You might know the TV presenter Joanne uh, from Ideal World. She gave me uh, this, and it's a label it and find it. It's called Mine for Sure. Uh, mine, M-I-N-E, for, I'll put the link in, in, in the description below, for the number four and sure. Mineforsure.com. And this gives you all stickers and you can buy special packs. So as I've just shown you with his shoes, you've got special so it's got Frankie Jack written there, so you can put that in the shoes, that's special shoes. And then they've got stickers for everything. So stickers for bags, uh, wh whichever you want. Stickers for pencil, stickers for pencil cases. So you've got so many of these, this is gonna last years. So it's not just one pack for one year. Um, then I've also got his iron-on transfers, and that's for all his T-shirts and his PE kit and his uh, coat, etc. Um, you've also got bigger stickers for bigger things that you need, such as his water bottle for school. Um, you have, yeah, oh, just it's amazing. There's so many stickers, and they've all got the yeah. name on, and then you can put a little oh. emblem with it. So I put a little um, dinosaur to come with it. So that's what I've got for Frankie Jack for back to school. Um, so very simple is his uniform. Um, I, I, I do shop absolutely everywhere. It just so happens that the only place that had everything in uh, this year was Marks and Spencer's for me. So I've really struggled for his particular size. I've got every other size, but for his particular size, I've really struggled. Hi. 
Thank you and don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to press that bell notification as well and be part of the family and don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Please leave your comments in the section below. If you've got any tips and tricks of anything that I've said that you could uh, uh, maybe do better or you've maybe found better or you maybe found better prices, don't forget also you can also search on eBay. Once the shops have stopped selling and you want to get hold of school uniform, I've found the best place is eBay uh, to be able to go and get it. I know there's shops out and about that do specialise in school uniform Form, but I do find that they don't have the slimmer fit things they just have the regular fit and I don't like that big baggy look um, especially on my son because he's only petite and only a small frame anyway thanks for watching and I'll see you later